Hey YouTube, this is Monkey. How is everyone tonight? We are going to make a, it's supposed to be a soap dish or you can use it as a sponge dish in your kitchen. And what you need is you need a colander, a small mini one, which I got at the dollar store for a dollar. These were not easy to find. They're not in every dollar store, so you kind of got to look. Um, I just happened to see it at a one that I was like an hour away from here. I've checked all the ones around here, and they did not have them. So you got to kind of look. And I got a candlestick. And we got some paint. Now I bought the 2X paint and primer. Uh, in one to make life easier and I also got to finish the gloss to protect the paint and we are going to use glue now I bought this you can buy crazy glue too or um, what's the other glue they have another one can't remember the name of it but I, I noticed a lot of people use this so I'm going to use this today and I went and got me a glue gun, a new one. I have one, but I, I think this will look, work a lot better. So I got a new glue gun and some glue sticks. So that is what we need. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the glue gun together. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the glue gun and you're going to fill all these little holes up with glue and let it dry. That's going to be your first step. So I will get this together and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I got my glue mounted and I've got this, I'm going to fill in these little holes here that are on the colander. Try to. And you just want to fill each one of them and then you're going to let it dry and after that i will show you what we're going to do after that so i'm going to finish this and fill this hole in let it dry and i will be right back okay now i filled in my holes with the glue gun and what i'm going to do I'm going to take some of this E6000 and hopefully this is going to work. I am, um, you can use super glue if you rather. Um, I just thought this might hold better than super glue. And what you're going to do, you're going to put it around the rim here and you're just going to dab it on there as best you can. Just kind of hold it so it'll stay on there a little bit. Whoa, we're getting a little bit carried away here. Yeah. yeah. And just squeeze a little bit. You don't need a bunch, but we want enough to, to seal it. And um, I'll put the lid on that so it doesn't get carried away. And then I'm going to take some soup some of the hot glue and we're going to put it around there and get it good in there and what I'm going to do is we're going to press it on there make sure it's kind of straight and there we go and just want to make sure it's on there good and tight Oops, it's not doing what I wanted to do. That needs to, needs to sit. So we're going to let it sit and get it firm. So um, afterwards, we're going to paint it. And I will show you um, how when it dries, I'm going to show you how I paint it. And then after, we'll let it dry. And then we'll put some of the finish on top of it. Okay. And this is going to be your little soap dish. Um, you can use this for other things if you'd rather too. Um, 
be creative and use it for, um, I don't know, anything, anything you like. It's not sticking like I want it to. I must be fussing with it, so I'll just leave it alone <laughs> and let it dry. So hopefully it'll work. And I will be back in a few. Okay, monkey's back. Now I've got it nice and dry. See? It's dry. Don't want to play with it too much though because it's still fresh. I'm going to shake this up. This is the paint you're going to use. Jeez, maybe I can. I put some gloves on because I don't want paint all over my hands. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to paint it and it has primer in this. So I hope it should be fine. So we're just going to paint it. Just like so. Paint it off. And you notice how Shea Bear has uh, helped me out a little bit here with a nice little box and that so I don't get paint everywhere. Okay. Um, yeah, you do the best you can. You want to cover it all as best you can. Um, let me see if I. Whoops! Sorry. Let it dry a little bit. Make sure we get the handles real good. And we'll let it dry. Just turn it. I can't turn it. Yes, you can. Hang on, all this. If I turn it, it's going to ruin it. Okay. He's going to get me something. cute. It'll look really cute when it's done and it's dry, hopefully. We're going to lift it with coat hanger. Shaver is going to help. You got to be careful because it'll come off the stand because it's still drying. It's not, I mean, it's dry, but it's fresh. Yeah, I know, but well, I won't do that then. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll just have to. There we See? go. See? That wouldn't have been painted. Yeah. So we're gonna. We're uh, going burning. Yeah, I know. So. So we'll just let it dry. Burning. I see that. You didn't shake it up enough. You gotta shake it for five minutes. Huh? You're supposed to shake it for five minutes before it starts to hang. And that should be it. Just let it dry. Well, they get to do it. Anyways, that's how you do it. We're gonna let it dry, and we will be back in a few after it's dry, and I'll put a clear coat on it. I'll make sure that, you know, we don't have to put a second coat on this. We might have to after it dries. We'll see. Okay, we'll be back. Hey everyone, I am finally back. It has been a few days. Um, this thing has been very tacky. I probably put the second coat on maybe too soon. Um, also, we have a lot of moisture going on because of all the rain we've had and stuff. And it has been sitting in the garage. And I've been busy with work and stuff. So now it's finally dry. So now I'm going to put the... Um, the clear coat on it so it makes it nice and shiny and pretty just make sure you shake these bottles up I didn't shake it the first time really well with the paint and it kind of dribbled a little bit but you know what it gives it a little character you know so it doesn't have to be perfect you know it is what it is 
So I try to make it the way I can, the best I can, and I probably should have shook it a little bit more. So just to let you know, try to shake these cans a, a lot more, especially if you've never done it before and don't know enough. I mean, I've used these cans before and I've shook them. I guess I just didn't do that that time. And uh, so we'll get it good and shook up and and then we'll latch this on here. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to leave the camera on so you can watch. And we're just going to kind of coat it. I think I'll do the bottom part first and then stand it up. See, I got a little bit on the bottom here because I kept taking it off the box. So it's not perfect, but you know what? It gives a character. So I did shake this up a lot. Probably don't need to shake this up as much as you do the paint. But... And I'll let it probably dry for a few days and then I will use it and show you how I use it. So I have a few minutes in between work here. So I came to the house and uh, I got like an hour or so. Um, and I don't want to leave this area because I have a patient right around the corner. So I've had two where I live, so it's been kind of nice when I get them that close to the house. So sometimes I have to wait, wait, so I come to the house and, and wait, so it's kind of nice. So that's about all we're going to do. I don't know if I'll need to put a second coat on here. We'll wait, let it dry, you know, and kind of let it do its thing and see. I might put a second one on I did for the paint, so why not, right? I don't want to get this on my uniform. I kind of still have my uniform on, so. Anyways, there we go. I think that is it. Let me do this handle a little bit better. Yeah, make sure the handles are good. And we'll just let it dry. I put a good coat on it, so I may not need another coat. Um, we'll see. I'm just going to let it go and let it dry. So, monkey's out for now, and I will return. Um, as soon as this dries, we'll, we'll come back and let you know, okay? Monkey's out for now. Bye, y'all. Hey, everyone. I have finished my sponge container. And there's your end product. You can put how many sponges you like in it. You can use it as a soap dish. Um, you could as a soap dish beside in the bathroom, or you can do it here. I'm not much for soap dishes. Um, I don't use bars of soap. Uh, so, anyways, that is my end result. It did take me longer than I thought it would, but with all the work I've been doing it has taken me a while so but I spray paint it twice with the gloss it didn't come out as glossy as I thought it would I don't know why I shook it real bad you know hard and um, it's not as perfect it has imperfections but you know what that makes it character so anyways hope you enjoyed my video and um, you know you can be creative and we use it for many things. So that's it for now. Monkeys out.